The sweet spot of going to college for me was all about networking. And I'm gonna tell you why. I've been seeing a ton of videos out here where a lot of people have talking about going to college is a waste, right? And they feel like it isn't worth it, but we need to stop playing that victim. I'm gonna share with you why, right? Going to college for me was not necessary about what I learned. Yes, that was important. These were important components, but as well, my degrees as well, that meant something for me. But the caveat for me going to college was all about networking. Networking for me was powerful. That was that sweet spot for me. And that's simply because it allowed me to network with other people that took me in, in places where I've never been before when it comes down to information because information changes situation you know when i needed resource when i needed help when i need to get that entry level job when i need that internship experience when i need all that other good stuff networking made it happen for me so let me tell you something close mouth don't get fed so that being said when you go to college yes we all we invest in everything right when you go to college you invested in yourself and i say I'm a big advocate for that. You invest in yourself. People invest, invest in cars. People spend twenty, a hundred, fifty thousand dollars in cars, and this car can crash. But they invest in it because they want something that 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 they can that feels it values something. I don't know. I wouldn't spend fifty thousand on a car, but I'm not gonna bash anybody for what they want to do. But if you invest in your education. Nothing is wrong with that. You invest in yourself. So the caveat for me going to college was about networking because since then everything started to expand for me. Not to mention when I did my bachelor's degree, I started to meet the most loving environment of people that really helped me steer me into the right way. I find mentors up until this day. Janelle Daniel, she was so good to me. She mentored me. Daryl William, you're going to meet people in your life that really impacted you in a positive way. And so because of that, I felt like I've grown educational, you know, spiritually, um, making effective decision, entrepreneurial decision. Um, there's just so many different benefits I got out of it. So the point of what I'm trying to make, the benefit of going to college you would have to know for yourself because at the end of the day, you know what you're going to college for. Now, a lot of people go to college and, and invest in foolish degrees that can't do anything for them. There's no future to it, you know, and you got to be careful of these decisions you make because every decision you make, you're going to pay for it. You're going to pay for it. So you have to know how to make effective decision. Now, I felt like my degrees, I feel like they're great degrees. There's potential to make your money in there. But if you're not with the right organization, then the potential of growing is challenging. And so for me, I felt like I'm going through that because my ultimate goal was to be a project manager. But I'm, I'm starting to question, like, sometimes I even feel like maybe I'm not smart enough. Or maybe I'm just in an environment where it's so competitive that as for a female, it's hard for me to, 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 to move up as a female. That's how I feel. It's a, uh, it's, my environment is dominant by men. And so every month I'm seeing everybody climbing. But I don't see them climbing. That's another story on its own. But what I got from my degree and my education, I got plugged in with the right people, the right people, that definitely helped steer me into the right way. And that meant a lot for me. So when people talk about, oh, bash this about college, college doesn't teach you anything. It's all about the strategy that you use to go to college. And it's, if it didn't make sense where you went ahead and you waste your years, stop playing victim. Ain't no pity party in this. You made the decision for yourself. People make decisions for themselves, but at the end of the day is really what you do with it. Networking is powerful. You don't know the next person that you're going to meet, especially when you're out of college and you're struggling for a job. The fact that you network with people that can help you 
you don't know who they know so they can definitely point you into the right place or get you your lend you your first job even your future job you never know but networking is powerful that was my sweet spot for me to go to college that sweet spot was networking because it it, it just it keeps making me meeting the right people so let me tell you you got to change your environment. If you're around a whole bunch of people that just stay home, sit home and just drink beers all day and play video games and talk about pure negativity, you're going to fall into that trap. Got to be around the right people that can help you to grow. College doesn't have a whole bunch of those people, but very few are out there that mean something, that mean business, that that you know, they're the next future millionaire. So you got to filter those people out and know who they are and start to network. Information changes situations, so you got to learn to network. Network is powerful. That's all I do, I network, network, network. And every time I network with people, it takes me into a different measure, positively. Some of them negatively, but that's okay. I don't play any victim. I'm not gonna sit here and cry and say, well, this didn't happen for me. I'm not gonna do that either. If it didn't work out, I move on to the next and that's how I do it but all I know you know live good with people you know be generous you know when you're networking and when you're benefiting from others learn to share let them benefit from you as well what you know you help them too don't be you know selfish about information and selfish about things you gotta you know pour it out there too so that you can be blessed but networking going to college nothing is wrong with that Two things I say to invest in, your education and a home. You invest in those things because it's long-term, right? When you invest in your education, these information never leave you. The selective one is what you would hold on to that means to you the most, right? And so you gotta think about that. I am a strong advocate in investing in yourself. <clears throat> I'm sorry, it seemed like I'm losing my voice. Um, invest in yourself. Does, do not care what anyone have to say about you because at the end of the day, it's all about you and not them, okay? Because let me tell you, people will put their fear on you and limitation on you, but don't limit yourself. Be fearless. Go out there. Strive. Take risk. And when you take risk, just know that whatever didn't work from you, you learn from it and you teach someone else. That's all. But I strongly want to encourage you, if you're going to invest in your education, make it make sense for you. Take care. Bye.